domo morti gatto, Mr. Rick Botto. Hi. That's right, we're gonna take a look at yet another Rick and Morty thing that kind of surprised everybody, came out of nowhere. I guess this is for Halloween. The Great Yokai Battle of Akihabara. Did I say that right? Yeah, no, you did. Yeah. R's or D's in, in Japanese. And hi means actually yes, in case you little kiddos were confused that I said hi. Oh. Yeah. So you're just agreeing with me. I I was saying yes. Ah, uh, so in order to not get a strike, we're gonna go through the video. Uh, it's not very long, it's 11 minutes, and we'll kind of hit the- it's not super great. Yeah, it's a lot of people screaming at each other in Japanese. Yeah. And it was kind of my impression of it. There was uh, a toaster involved. Yes. Which so, is very weird. So, you know, it starts, uh, you know, with whatever. They're like yelling at each other, but ultimately Rick only cares about getting his toaster to work properly it's an AI toaster and he's willing to you know do whatever it takes to get his toaster so his toaster uh, apparently breaks because it's got a gummed peanut up butter or something in it. yeah he's got a uh, screw head that has peanut butter from 30 years ago on it so he decides that he's gonna go through some passage to go to the place where it was actually made Akibahara, or wait, Akibara, Akibara, the mecca of Japanese technical might. Yes? Uh, Sound like a sure. place? Yeah. Never been there? I, no, I actually have not been to Akibara. Ah. Uh, well, Rick and Morty go there. <laughs> he says, easy, shouldn't be a problem finding a relic like this without, with, Jap with Japan's <clears throat> economic growth at a standstill for decades. So he needs a, uh, you know, he's making fun of Japan. It's cool. How dare you make fun of Japan? They're so much better than us. So they go through the portal, and uh, I thought this was amusing because they go through this portal and it's like haunted by uh, rape yokai. ghosts. Yeah. Rape ghosts. They were kind of rapey ghosts, right? Uh, kind of, sorta. Yeah, I don't even know what a yokai does. I do not know what a yokai is at all. Yeah, it's some sort of demon-looking thing. You know? Yeah. Is it a shiny? Gami? No, it's not a Shinigami. Uh, is that the ring? No, Shinigami is the d god of death. Oh. So a yokai is probably just like a demon. Maybe a fair demon. I don't know. Sure. So they end up, they go through the portal, and they end up in um, this place. So Rick's all it. pissed off because it's all like built up, and he doesn't know that he can find what he wants anymore because he didn't think it would just sit still and do anything. He didn't think their technology would build up. Uh, but of course, Morty gets distracted by this girl. A Japanese made sex slave. Yes. He, he, I don't know why she has scars on her face. Is know. that, is that culturally significant? No, I don't think so. She just had a hard time. She just looks like a cracked out. She looks white, first off. She looks a little cracked out. She does not look Asian. Well, she's a Japanese maid, or like sex maid. Uh-huh. And Morty discovers that if he keeps getting stamps, he can get oh, like yeah, a hug okay. and a picture. Yeah. Yeah. So Rick is looking, but he, he goes back to his old lab and he finds out that it's been developed. So he's not real happy about that. But then he meets his nemesis when he goes in the old lab. He meets this guy. How I don't know if he's a nemesis. That like what? Well, he left him in this place 30 for 30 years. He see. He sealed it up in concrete. His name is Yamada Kusaku, his eternal rival. <laughs> and no one he, he knows why other than, he, oh, he was looking, he was working on mysticism. He tries to explain it to Rick, but Rick doesn't really care. Rick's like, I'll never forget that day 30 years ago. And he's like, Rick's like, whatever, man. They had a heated debate, I guess, uh, over supernatural versus science. And then Rick got angry and just poured concrete on the door and left him there for 30 years. So, that's the thing. Yeah, I honestly don't, other than screaming, I don't remember what actually happened in this. So Rick's looking for a screw, and he can't find the screw in his lab, so he's gotta find the actual screw that he needs. Yeah, the so whole thing was about a toaster. Yes, so then this guy escapes from the concrete bunker and finds out the same thing that Morty finds out, that there's an awesome you know, sex maid shop that he can go to. 
and he wants to get his stamped too. So if you get like nine stamps or whatever, you ten stamps get to have pictures taken with sex slaves. Yes, a special. I don't know what the special service is, but it's something. So Rick keeps looking, and uh, he tracks Morty down, and then finds this the Q Samaramabama guy. Sure. Samaramabama. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then Rick Rick rips up his. That's what kind of causes the problem here. Is he's happy about the sex thing, and and Rick tears up his last stamp. He only needs one more stamp to get the picture, and he tears it up, and he gets very angry. So then he like goes and summons demons or something like that. Uh, I guess he summons the yokai, the giant slumbering in the depths. So he summons this big giant dude, and Rick's like... I totally blanked on this this part. Maybe I was looking at Twitter porn. You probably were. I don't so, remember that guy at all. Yeah, you don't remember that guy? Nope. So they jump on this like old-fashioned hovercraft thing. Uh-huh. I don't know what the deal with that is. And then this part's kind of cool, because it reminds me of uh, Gantz. Where like these weird demons all kind of pop out of nowhere, it's kind of cool. Like there's all these like weird ghostly demons. That's all definitely from Gantz, the the uh, anime slash. Yep. Never saw it. Manga. It's pretty good. I recommend it. So they go and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna destroy the city." Like this wheel of doom thing. It's pretty cool. So big guys like smash around and Rick's like, "Okay, I can stop this. I just need to summon my own deal." So, oh, and the girl's name is Milk. So she's Milk. Oh Chan. yeah, Milk Chan. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Or she's white like milk. I maybe. So it, Rick remembers that this that he went to go see like he had a very specific screw he needed. Ten point eight micrometers wide, alpha micrometer stat st- 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 stamic screws, no margin for errors. Well, it turns out Milk Chan is the daughter of the screw maker. She got screwed. Cause he taught, he died. Cause she wears it her. as an earring. She get was given it as a gift, and then she has the screw. Is her earring? So he now Rick has to save her by screwing her. Yes, and his solution is to pull out his giant robot. Oh, seems like an escalation. Do you not remember bit. the giant robot? Uh, a little bit. Then he does like a whole Pacific Rim thing where they need to like Rick and Morty need to mind meld to work together. And oh that does goodness. not work because Morty's too stupid. <laughs> and they need their brain waves to be saved. So Rick's like, I don't got time for you to sink your brain. And he goes, yeah, I'm going to sink with this toaster. Set. I do because not remember this part at all. I might have zoned out for most of this thing. Probably did because the toaster is smarter than Morty. Yes. So Morty just sits there and sulks and then they fight with the giant robot and the giant yokai thing. Oh my god. Giant rocket fist. Do you remember the rocket fist? I do not. You didn't see any of this. I I must have got real bored real quick. Or ripped. Yep. What's your choice? So Rick is fighting with the toaster and they're in sync but Morty as usual sees a distraction. Do not press. Do not press. Do not press. Uh, Does he press it? What do you think? Yes. How do you know? You don't know? He presses it. Of course he presses it, which causes... um, They're going to self-destruct and destroy six miles or something. Yeah, everyone's going to die. Why is this Japan and yet there's no Godzilla? Uh, There is a Godzilla reference in it at some point. So they escape, but uh, Rick calls down his like ultimate quick reaction force and he summons a giant portal and a giant sandworm comes out oh my god this must be like a thing for dune right uh that's what it is it's a giant sandworm yeah maybe and the sandworm like eats everything and just like the explosion goes like like that's it it's like nothing oh well sandworms are pretty tough and then they leave a giant crater oh jeez yeah and (laughs) Morty finally gets his picture with uh, Milk Chan Rick steals the screw from her ear. Screws her ear. See that screw? Oh. He screws it. Yeah, he does. And then, uh, you know, Rick, as usual, is like, we're getting out of here. No milk chan for you. None at all. And then he gets his toaster. He thinks his toaster's going to work. As usual, Rick gets perfect toast, but he also gets a giant crater. Oh. 
And uh, now uh, he they don't know what's on the other side of the portal or the hole. Uh, <laughs> this is the best summer because summer's like, shut up. <laughs> you guys are too loud. I'm drinking my coffee. You guys are annoying. And that pumpkin becomes alive. It no, actually, that guy comes. I don't know what that, what was this the supposed yokai. to be? Oh, yeah. That's the yokai. That was the thing that was stalking around in the passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That weird... Yeah, so it comes out and she makes out with it and it's very happy. Because she kisses it. She kisses a big old smoochie. Yeah. And then there is post credit scene where... Oh, shit. Was there? Uh-huh. This guy. I'm still alive. Q Samurai. Still alive. The I end. didn't watch that part. That's because you didn't watch this at all. Yeah, I didn't care. Yes. The credits were very... They were kind of interesting. It was the Where's thing. Where's Jerry? No Jerry. No Jerry. in the yeah. Japanese no don't... Jerry, they don't no like Beth. Jerry. No Beth. So, I don't know, on a scale of... Five? Yeah, it wasn't as good as the Samurai Rick one. It's not like, as good as Bush World. Oh, it's not nearly as good as Bush World. Bindigo, Bush World. Bindigo, Morty. Bindigo, Morty. Morty. Oh, Morty. It's Bindigo. We, we got a... Uh, I, turned my, my, I turned my portal gun into a real gun, Morty. That's the best line ever. Uh, so good. We need to hear what our boy Isaac thinks of the Japanese short... Yes. Of Rick and Morty. Is this as satisfying as regular Rick and Morty, Isaac? I don't I don't think so. I don't think so, but uh, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. You can also catch it streaming. Uh, if you want to listen to it, go to iTunes, go to Stitcher, go to Spotify. If you want to watch and stream it with us, catch it here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. And if you do not, give us a like, subscribe, and perhaps turn on notifications. Noob Noob will do this. I will make you. my own super smart toaster and then take a screw out and put it in your butt and plug it in and toast your asshole a butt plug yeah i'm gonna toast those cheeks woof if you don't subscribe like and turn notifications on mm. and tell all your friends your mother your brother share you can, even your cats it's the only way we can grow every subscribe counts for us absolutely we need them so we can grow Do and it, give please. you more of this fantastic content so, if you'd like to hear more Rick and Morty content from us, or you just want to hear us rant on various different things like spooky movies, that's right. Catch us on Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we are on to the next one. Uh-huh.